That's important for me, it hits on the colorblind student especially. But even a, a student like myself, um, you know, having um, very bad eyesight. <laughs> the ability to read the material and have access to it is incredibly important. And the more color backgrounds you use with color fonts, it, sometimes it gets lost in, in that and students won't be able to read it completely. Um, and that's a problem. So being um, mindful that you have students that may not have the best vision um, and how that contrast can hide your content. Um, so one, a black and white approach, it, as simple and as boring as it is, is accessible to almost everybody. Potential pitfalls for that, again, black and white is kind of boring. Um, and we tend to want to amp it up to engage the student. Um, so that, for me, that's the, the potential pitfall we fall into, is wanting to be more engaging, brighter colors. Um, and you just have to scale it back. You have to think of the universal approach to all your students, everybody that might not be able to um, access it. And this holds true in our online courses as it does our face-to-face. -face. If you use colored markers on a whiteboard and you have a student who can't read green, that's a problem.